important for our students to feel a sense of community and connection with their instructor as well as other students in order to foster uh, as effective learning as possible. So in a face-to-face -face class, we've seen that work out by communication, a lot of talking and constructive talking, not destructive talking, a lot of interaction between the instructor and the professor, questions and so on. In an online course, that can be a little bit more difficult. So what I am recommending is that you create a place to house opportunities for your students to engage with each other and to get any help they might need. So for my personal course, I really like the use of a secret Facebook group, and that is one of the ways in which I engage with them, among other things. But there are also tools that they need, such as access to services that are available at the school. So what I would recommend is creating a list of what those services are, as well as their contact information, and then anything else that you choose to do. Let's say you have a Twitter handle and you want your students to follow that, or maybe you have a Facebook group like I do and you want your students to be able to get into that very easily or you have a Google Plus account or what have you. Once you've created that in a list, then you want to add it to your course. So for my course here, I have a link on the menu that says Community and Help Links. Now the reason I put it on the menu side is because it is always available to the students. They will see this no matter which area they're in. It's always going to be there. So I thought that that was the most user-friendly place and easily accessible place to put it. However, you could create a discussion forum where you house this information and allow students to talk back and forth. Maybe you put it in your syllabus or underneath instructor information, wherever you're comfortable. But for me, I wanted it right there and obvious so students didn't have to dig. So I'm going to show you kind of how to add that. Uh, previously, I showed how to add a folder. Now, in this case, you don't really need a folder because it's just a page. So instead of up here on this plus sign, instead of clicking content area, you're going to click blank page. And blank page will be just a simple place for you to house direct information. So when you're ready, you click blank page and you add the name of what you're going to put in there. So community help links and then you click available to users and then submit. Now I already have that there so I'm going to leave mine um, blank because I already have it available to you. So you would just get that and it would pop up here and again you can move it anywhere you feel comfortable wherever you want it to be and once you click on it you will see an editing page. It'll be blank here and here and you can add what you want to it. Now I'm going to take the edit mode off and show you what it looks like to students. So on mine, it'll say community and help links at the top. And then I have access to all of the SWIC specific services that are available at our school, as well as the social media service that I use. So again, I prefer the secret Facebook group, and so I gave them a link specific to that. But I also provided them with information and links to all of the services through the Success Center, the library, counseling, disability and access, some details about online learning and other additional services, as well as the contact information and map links to all three campuses that we have. So that is available to all my students. When you are in editing mode, you can create this in, say, a Word document and then copy and paste or you can use this blank area just like you would a Word document. And so you just add. You can type straight into the box. You can edit color. You can edit text size and shape. You can do all kinds of different things. So make it the way you want it to look. You can fancy it up or make it just straight information. But once you're ready, you can um, attach a document or you can put display information available. You just click Submit and then for the students it will show up looking like a page. So they'll have a direct link if you include it on the menu like that using blank page. So hopefully that is an opportunity that you will take advantage of and that students can take advantage of and be as successful as possible in their online courses.